Hi guys, today I will show you an app that I really love for my hiking, it's OSM and this app is available in iPhone or Android so I will show you in a Samsung, so Android, but it's also available in uh, other platforms um, All the features here will start with uh, how to install the app and the extension, that's really important So, if you go to Play Store and you tap OSM and so this app is totally offline and free that's interesting because there is many apps but you have to pay every month if you want to use offline maps this one you can use them for free in the free version you have only seven maps available uh, anything you want it's worldwide that's really important so you can choose seven maps and in the paid version you can download everything you want so that's the free version and the osm plus this one is the paid version that's the one i have okay and you will need a plugin extension um, uh, next so you download the paid one or the free one as you want next i will show you how to get the paid one for free i have it i can share the file uh, but not for the iPhone, it's only for Android. For iPhone, if you want the paid one, you will, ha you will have to pay. Uh, and the plugin is... Contour Lines. So that's this one. It's also... Um, with fees, probably two or three bucks. Uh, it's not that much because it's very useful. And I will give you the file if you want to have it for free. So. You install what you want, and I will show you now how to get it for free. So the, you have two files. Mm. Sorry. Up. So if you download these two files, you will have um, to install first the, the app this one okay he will ask you uh, I already did it so he doesn't ask but he will ask you do you want to install uh, this app which is not from the Play Store and you will have to go to the settings and said yes I want to install this unknown app and then you come back here and you press install okay and same with the plugin next once you are done with this installation, we can see how to use the app. First, we'll download maps. So this is offline, so you can download the maps and use it anywhere, especially in the mountains. How to download the maps. So go in OSM. So if you have the paid or the free version, it's exactly the same app. Um, So go to the menu, sorry, the menu settings, which is here, down, uh, left, corner, and download maps. And then you have worldwide selection. Now I already have New Zealand and part of France. Depends where you are, but it could be like in France, it's by region. Okay. But for New Zealand, it's the whole country in one file. And there is a difference. For example, you can see here the hill shades you can have with the uh, extension. It's for the entire country. But then it's by region. I have only this one, Occitania. And I have the map, the contour lines, and the Wikipedia information. That's uh, what you need, okay? So sometimes the contour lines, it's by region, sometimes it's by country, and sometimes it's the whole country, like New Zealand. Mm. New Zealand. You see, it's the whole country. The map, the contour lines, Hillshade, and Wikipedia. Uh, if it's green, it's downloaded. If it's uh, orange, it's downloaded, but not updated. So you can have a new update now, maybe. Uh, yep, yeah, that's it. 
So just check if you have everything, contour lines and hill shade and standard map and Wikipedia useful as well. And now we can have a look on the map. So we'll see the map, how to search and what is the legend. So this is a vector map that's really interesting. It means that if you zoom in, zoom out, you will have more information. If you zoom in, you know, things will um, be displayed in the screen. More stuff if you zoom in. So for example, this is a typical track, uh, these points or dashes here. Okay. Uh, you can have, this is the lookout. Okay, there is many. You can have tables with picnic tables. You can have buildings, it's just this. World are white. Here you have a bench. Um, you have toilets. You have everything. You have the huts uh, on the lodge in the mountains. Uh, this color means uh, this is just rocks. This is grass, so you can have a view. This is forest. This dark green here. See the trees. So you don't have a view if you are in this, but you can go out and then you have a lookout. That's really interesting. Okay. This is snow, but maybe I've been there and in summer there is no snow anymore. Just a few on top. Okay. So just be careful with this. You have all the streams. You know where you can fill your water. But this as well, usually maybe there is some season you don't have any water. Oh, so be careful with this. You have the contour lines. That's what is interesting. And with the elevation. Okay. If you go... Uh, the beach, you have the sand, that's permanent sand and temporary, depends on the tides, low or high tides. You have a bug, okay, a rocks, mm, you have everything, campsites, see, that's a gravel road, very useful for New Zealand, if you want to know where are the gravel roads. This is a sleepway, if you have a boat, you have everything. That's free, that's worldwide, that's why it's interesting. So the shade, it will help you to see where are the mountains, see. I will display now um, without hill shade and contour lines, you will see. It's quite flat, it's not very interesting if you hike. That's why you need the extension. Um, I will put it back. Oops, sorry. It's not here. Configure map. Okay, it's back. And there is something else you need to display. It's the altitude elevation here, uh, 158. You can see on, on top right the screen uh, by default it's not displayed configure screen and altitude here that's important uh, and this if you want to save your your track uh, okay now we'll see together how to oh sorry uh, the legend so I showed you some stuff, but if you want the complete legend, it's in the menu, help, and then map legend. This is not offline, that's a bit weird because it's just uh, an image. So download it before if you want, then you will have it. You have all the information, okay? All the tracks, uh, road, food tracks, everything. Because there is a lot different stuff. Uh, parking, toilets, everything. Okay. Then um, you can search for something. Go here on top and 
So if you want to go for Mongkook, you can tap Mongkook and go to the Mongkook. It's here. You can also look for any place, any address, any hat, okay, like Angeles hat, okay. You can look for everything, or you can just tap hat, and you will have all the huts displayed on the map, so you know where you can sleep. Or if you're just in a city, you can just tap toilets. You will have all the, all the toilets on the map. See? So that's really interesting. Um, now we can see how to route the track. That's what I really like with this app. You can have many information, very useful. Let's go for a multi day hike in Nelson Lakes area. That's here. So there is already a track here. If you press this button, I already route this track. I will remove it. It's uh, probably this one. Yep, Nelson Lakes. Um, so now I will root again. So I will remove it. You can. Oh, I will go. Um, my places, tracks, and Nelson Lakes. Okay, we'll see later how to manage the tracks. Quickly, oops, uh, and go back to. Okay, now I'll root again. So I saved something here, it's hopeless hut, okay. So we'll start from the car park. Let's try to find the car park. There is a gravel road. Uh, it's here, probably. Zoom in, yep, car park. Toilets and the shelter. Okay, start from here. So go press uh, the menu and Measure distance and start from here. So just press add or press on the screen where you want to add the next point. And then you can directly go to where you want to end up. I will try. Um, okay, just follow this Sabine. Sabine. Speargrass track. Up oh, and there is a hat, Sabine hat. Uh, just press Option and snap to road. Enable walking. Now, if I just press the second point, it will follow the walking track. And if you want, of course, you can make step by step if you want to follow a specific track. I mean, if you want to go here and then go back here, it's possible. Just track whatever you want. And if you want to remove one point, press here and remove. Or just move, exchange. Okay. So that's 17 kilometers, could be one day. We'll see with the elevation later. I will show you how to see that. That's one day, then, um, then I can go, then I would like to go to this Angelus hat, it's really beautiful. Oh, so that's, could be second day, so you have to go up, and then I can go back to the car park maybe. But it said go back same way. Oh, I don't want to go back same way. I remove the point and I will add. Because I think there is a track here. This one in blue is a track. That's the one I removed. That's why it's blue. It's not supposed to be blue. So if I add a point in the middle. Yeah. So now I have the track. 
Okay, so it could be three days, three nice days. Uh, but maybe I want to go to Angela's Peak. Okay, so I will remove. And I will go to Angela's Peak, the second day. And then go to the hut. Okay, so it could be second day, and then third day. I will go back to the car. 40 kilometers, okay. And now, what's really interesting with this app, you can have many more informations. I will go to Options and save a new GPX file. Uh, save as a root points. Give a name, and I will also, oops, add the uh, distance. It's important, so it could be uh, three days, and that's um, that's an X. Okay, so it's saved now as a file. You can share this. We'll see later how it works. Just press back button and now it's displayed in red you can press navigation button and down you can have the last one you've done Nelson Lakes okay so you still have this information 40 kilometers if you press on this button distance you will see uh, this information the profile it's really interesting you have uh, what you need to ascend and descend so that's two 1400 kilo, uh, meters okay and you know in the blue it's the the shape the, the mountain and in, in green it's the, the slope so that's really flat and then you have until 60 that's very steep 60 max maybe yeah here too the peak 60 and then go back and then it's okay it's not less than 30 maybe Okay, uh, so you know you will go from 460 um, uh, to 2000 maximum, that's the peak, the elevation. Okay, you can press this button, analyze on map, if you want to see where is, is it exactly, and you can do the same thing at home, so that's the first hut, was uh, here I think. Okay, that's the peak, and then the second hut here, okay, and then go back to the car. That's really interesting, This you have all the informations. You know if it will, if it will be difficult next, um, if you should stop here or there. Okay, now... Uh, so it's saved, okay? So that's the way to route. If you uh, want to get the info, everything, now I will show you what you can do else with this app. It's very useful for hiking, but you can use it with the car, like an offline GPS. It's not the best one, okay? You prefer Maps Me, uh, but it's, it's it could be possible. And you can just get information if you go to any city. You have everything offline, of course. So you have all the buildings, all the restaurants, supermarkets, everything. Campsites, toilets, ATM, everything. So that's very useful. Um, and then you can... Uh, if you go, for example, by kayak, so I've done this by kayak. I will remove it. Up. Up. Okay, and. And I will go back to 
walking. Also, I started from here with the kayak, and I will see how it is. So, start from here, then I went here. I will not use the snap, snap to road with the kayak. I will just draw straight lines. Okay, where I've been, where I want to go. So I stopped here. Then I've been here, so I slept here, and then I, I continue. The next day, that's a marine reserve here, so it's possible to see it. I stopped here, then I've been around this island. So that's already 13 kilometers. Uh, yep. So maybe I should stop like for the next day. And so I slept here. This place was really beautiful. Okay, and then I can continue the next day, etc. Okay. Uh, so this is rocks uh, in blue. So you have many. If you fish, you can fish here. If it's allowed, this is not allowed here. But I've been here. I fished here. It was possible, and I caught fish. Um. Then you can save this, same, okay. Save. Then it's ready. If you want, you can uh, manage your tracks. Let me show you. Um, so you already seen it. You go to my places. You can have the places you saved. Okay, just points like huts, peaks, and you have tracks. That's the one displayed on the screen. But there is many others tracks that are not displayed. But I have done. I've saved. Okay, so you can display them or just keep them here. Or remove it if you you sure you will not go back. So maybe uh, I can remove Abel Tasman kayak. This one, okay. Just did it. You can share if you want the GPX file. Send the file to someone and cancel. You can download a GPX file and then get it. So just press plus if you find a GPX, GPX file on the internet. It's just better that to route it in this app because you, use, you will have the information of elevation and everything. If you download from a website, you will just have the distance, that's it, not the elevation. Uh, so that's not very interesting. You better route with your uh, app. Okay. Um, if the screen don't display the contour lines and the shade, maybe go configure screen. Oh, no, sorry. Uh, settings. No, sorry, that was. No, plugin, sorry. And contour lines. Just be sure it's displayed. You can uh, display the trip recording, okay? If you want to save your GPX file while you walk, every five seconds it will save a point. Just press this GPX. GPX button here and start uh, save the track. Okay, and then you have a track as the others. It's saved. You can export, import. Okay, so that's what you can do with this app. Uh, so it's free. It's offline. It's really nice. All the information you need are in there. Uh, and just something else. Mm. If you want to have any uh, ideas of uh, hiking, you can check these apps, uh, All Trace, Hiking Project, View Ranger, uh, that's worldwide, and this one is only for France, uh, Viso Rondo, but it's very nice. Uh, just to have an idea, you can also download the GPX sometimes, but as I told you, you better route in uh, OSM. Okay, so that's it for this app, I hope it will be useful for you. Uh, so don't forget to uh, download the maps and prepare yourself before going. Even if you can do this online in the mountain, you can manage your track, but be prepared before. 
and I will show you I will see you uh, soon for new videos subscribe if you like the channel bye